Hello, I'm Tom. In this video, I'll show how our PowerShell build tools are used to build Enhanced Spell. You'll find details about a project and the build configuration in the associated blog post. The link is in the video description. First of all, I will show how to trigger the build within the PowerShell ISC. Then I will start the build from Visual Studio. And last but not least, I'll show how the build can be performed on a Jenkins CI server. So let's start. I've opened PowerShell already and we are in the Enhanced Spell project folder. Now I'll list the files and you see there is an XML file named buildconfig.xml. You can get a detailed explanation of this file in the associated blog post and on the PowerShell build tools page. I import the build tools module to get the build commands. Then I execute the clear build command to purge all previous build artifacts. The build itself is divided in sequences and I execute the first one called new build which contains MS build steps to create the enhanced spell, native DLLs and the enhanced spell assemblies. After that, I execute the test build sequence to perform code analysis and unit tests. To create packages and complete the build, I execute the complete build sequence. It creates a zip package and a NuGet package. At last, I execute the publish build sequence to publish the created packages. Due to the fact that the sequences have dependencies declared, it is enough to execute publish build to perform all sequences of the build. <coughs> I clear the build first, then I call publish build to trigger the whole chain of sequences. New build, test build, complete build and publish build are executed one by one. Let's take a look how this is done in Visual Studio. First of all, I have to open the Package Manager console, which is in fact the PowerShell host. As before, I import the Build Tools module. Then I execute the Clear Build and Publish Build commands to perform the build. Finally, I show how this is configured on a Jenkins CI server. The build is executed with a PowerShell build task, which contains the commands we already know. I schedule this build and observe its output. The build sequences are executed as expected. In fact, the PowerShell build tools can be used on any continuous integration or continuous delivery platform which is capable of executing PowerShell. Enhanced Spell and the PowerShell build tools are free. Thank you for watching. Please visit our homepage and contact us if you have any questions or suggestions.